Mattias Stahl, age 27, from Sweden. My name is Kjetil, I am 23 years old and I am from Norway. My name is Ivar Jansson, I'm 21 years old and I'm from the Åland Islands. Ragen Olof Gundlund, I'm 23 years old and I'm also from Norway. My name is Asta Bexagriesen and uh, I'm 25 years old and from Denmark. My name is Selva Nesheutel, uh, I'm 19 years old and I'm from the Faroe Islands. Um, well, it always came quite naturally for, for me because I, I began as a journalist for a local newspaper, so I had to write and it was something I, I really enjoyed. And then when I started making documentaries, I just brought that method along for, for doing a lot of, of stuff, for just like getting ideas and thoughts out of my head to something concrete, something you can make a film out of. So So it's been a a way for me to to make other things as well as just writing the scripts. I started writing because uh, I really enjoy the art of storytelling. Like I've uh, had a lot of influence through video games and movies and one thing that always stood out to me is I always thought they could do this one better or they could do this aspect a bit more than I thought well, maybe I should try creating some myself. Um, I've also just been writing stories since I was a kid. I think every time there was an exam and you could write a story as an essay, I would always choose that. Um, it's just, I just think it's really fun to tell stories. And uh, I think my interest in film uh, kind of led me to also write scripts um, because that's, I think that's the most fun part is just to, write the story and tell it. You know, I, I started on, you know, acting on theater on the stage and and through that I kind of just figured out that I, it was another way to tell a story, not just by acting, but by writing as well. And so it's kind of just you know, evolved. I find it very interesting to uh, create characters and I love uh, getting to know them um, and understanding the characters and I feel like sometimes it can be kind of like meeting another person in real life. That person uh, strives and fears and stuff. It's, I think it's, it's very cool because sometimes um, you can have these characters very close to your heart for a very long time and I, I find it very, very cool. Uh, what interests me in the screenwriting process is uh, you're making a blueprint of a movie. So you're creating a story that is going to be in and of itself adapted by someone else or by yourself. So the finished product will not be what you wrote. So the finished product that you made is only to be used, is not to be consumed. There's something, to me, something uh, magical about the process of creating a story, creating characters and making them come alive. And then, then again, hopefully seeing them on screen afterwards, there's this different kind of world where everything is kind of in your own head and you just put it on the piece of paper and it starts to come alive. I really like finding these uh untold stories in the in the small things that maybe they don't look big to the eye or like huge things but they maybe reflect bigger things in the in the world to find the like beauty and adventure and magic in those small things that's what i really enjoy doing i believe it's also characters i love them a character that you sympathize or empathize with I guess when the when the conflicts are are very interesting, <laughs> characters, you know, characters that lives and breathes and makes their own choices. It's when a story unfolds, like naturally unfolds, when you have these actual, real, dynamic characters, and things happen because of the choices they make and who they are. The majority of it is from real life. It's stories from people I, people I know or incidents in my own life. And um, I personally really enjoy the fantasy element of, that stories can bring. But I always like to find the like human element or the um, 
based on true events thing? Um, so for me, it's definitely mostly from real life where you sort of find these like every, everyone has like one weird uncle or this neighbor who does this weird thing or a friend who told you this insane story that like you almost can't believe is true. Uh, it, can, it can be very uh, fictional, uh, like nothing to do with reality <laughs> or it can have a lot to do with my life, maybe something very personal. Uh, it depends on a lot on the story I write. Hopefully by then we've gotten our production company up and running so that we can produce a lot of our own stuff. I, I, I'd be really happy if I can just keep making a living and working in this field and doing these things that I, I love. I don't care much about like reaching fame or anything like that because I, I just really love doing this and I want to be able to keep doing it in in I mean, in a way that I enjoy it. I don't think it's harder than that. Hopefully I'll still be doing something creative, still telling stories, and uh, I hope I'll be as passionate about it as I am now, five years from now. In five years, I hopefully am still with the Northern Script in some capacity. Try to make either a production company or some way to uh, help younger aspiring screenwriter, filmmakers. I know I'm still writing in five years um, and I hope that I perhaps ha have built a little bit more self-esteem about my writing. Still working you know as a writer director with Shetland, hopefully still uh, collabing with, with the Northern Script and I'll see myself in, in a good place at that point uh, in the creative world really.